Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome to the final official episode of Freddy Fish and Luther's Maze Madness. We only have one world, five levels left in the entire game, and it's a doozy of a world. Very large levels, very tough to uh, beat. Let's get started, shall we? Time to get all those milk beans. Welcome to the Flooded Mine, the last world of Freddy Fish and Luther's Maze Madness. This is a creepy world, as you can probably tell by the music. We've got lobsters here that are, act as the water squirters. As well as the air vents slash currents. Hi! Oh, I wasn't expecting you to do that. Oh no, I'm at a bubble bath. This is a travesty. Anyways, we've found all the new gimmicks, I believe, so it's really just putting them all together for one last epic world. I love the minor key that Selma's in as well. Alright, what a life here. And then we've got... Spongehead. Lovely. Oh, Worm Doodle, please. So I'm out of bubble bath, so... Let's see how I want to do all this. Wow. For real? All of them near the shark. <laughs> Maybe I'll find some bubble bath in the next room. Oh, that's bad. Alright, well, my plan is make the squid swim up here. Yes! Oh, that was beautiful. Come back to this room and I'm gonna go up. No! But I needed that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all of these levels are five rooms large, so have fun. <laughs> No! That was literally the one place I did not want to end up. Ah. That is one thing I wish this game was a little bit different. I wish you could uh, tell which whirlpool was going to take you where. Move it, shark. Stop being a jerk face. <laughs> I kind of figured something like that would happen. Oh wait, what am I even doing going over that way? Oh shoot. Well, it was nice having a sandwich while it lasted. Yeah, expect a few game overs in this world if you aren't playing with unlimited bubbles or unlimited lives. Actually, you know what? Because we're just after all these gates. I'm just gonna go to that room. It's also like nasty pink and purple background. It looks like this place is polluted or something. Hi, 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 hi. Spiral shell is just what I needed. Uh, what a life squid is not what I need though. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> Master manipulation, if I do say so myself. Cool. This is less cool, though. Because so now I have to deal with a carnivorous dogfish. Actually, not cool. Well, he eats jellyfish, so yeah. My sandwiches are of the peanut butter and jellyfish variant. That's bad. I don't want them both loose. Oh no. Maybe if I reset that. Okay, well, he's just gonna be a huge jerk, isn't he? So I've just gotta keep re entering the room until Squid decides not to be a jerk. Which might take a while, apparently.
That's literally the only thing he's doing. It's coming up. No. Swim down. Swim down and stay down. I don't understand what's so difficult about this. Alright, here. You follow me down this way. No, you're going the wrong way now. What a life! Yes, come this way. Oh, doggone it! Not the crab. Get back, get back here. Go away, go away, go away. He's not gonna go away. Oh, yeah? Look at that. Oh great! I'm dead! Alright, I didn't want to do this, but... Bubbles on. I, like, this level's just flat out not fair without Bubbles. Now meet the Wrath of Freddy Fish. Most of the levels are pretty reasonable to be. This is not one of them. Now granted, for like custom levels, I would assume it would default to bubbles on because of how brutal those can get. But this is supposed to be a kid's game, for crying out loud. We don't have to ha make it like Bear Storm. Yeah. I'm not defenseless anymore. I don't know why that didn't hit him. The bubble physics are odd. We get it, you have such a great life. Why did that not hit him? I saw that bubble completely 100% hit him. In fact, I'm even, I'm even going to slow motion that just to prove I was right. Why did that not hit him? The dogfish constantly swimming into the fountain also is not okay. I'm not sure if I'll keep bubbles on for the rest of the game, because if memory serves, the other levels are f at least reasonably fair, but this one is just not fun without bubbles. Give me that freaking pearl! Good grief. Thank goodness my bubbles no never run out now. <laughs> Come 
Come at me, bro. <laughs> Why did the bubbles not work? That's the thing, even with unlimited bubbles, it's still not, like, effortless by any means. Especially when the bubbles don't even work. What?! Okay, the controls are now locking up on me. I was rapidly tapping those keys to stay in that crevice. Well, fine. You want to play like that game? I'll play like that. Keep it up, and I'm going to turn on unlimited lives as well. That's that room done with at last. Back to the first room, grab those kelp seeds, and we'll be on our way. No worm doodle for the next level, but that's alright. I did not want to have to turn on unlimited bubbles. I'd hoped to do this whole let's play without the junior helpers, but it the game forced my hand. Don't worry, for the next level, we're gonna try turning them back off. Oh, yeah! We better get swimming and collect all A lot the of whirlpools! <laughs> I'll save that as my last cup seed, how about that? Nope, 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 nope. Would you please make up your mind which way you want to go? <laughs> Oh, bubble bath. Yes, please. I don't have a purple suit, though, so I think I will come back to this room. Cool, purple suit in this room. Alright, this is the whirlpool level. Ah! Oh, I was completely disappeared in that whirlpool by then. What are you even talking about? Yeah! What sadist designed this level? Who cooked that ratatouille? I demand to know. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> what the heck? Why is he coming back? Okay, the crab is just stupidly difficult to get through. Because he's not moving! He's literally just sitting there monitoring the water whirlpool. Oh, that is going right the heck back on. Oh great, a chase scene with the dogfish. Where I have to push these stupidly slow sponges out of the way. Hey, 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 
Fat Albert the Movie Day. I was on a corner, there was no way I was going to be able to hit the dog with a bubble. No way. Around corners, it's just not happening. He's trapped now. Now think about what you've done. I like all the treasure that's hidden in the walls, it's nice, and the music is groovy on this level. Creepy, but very atmospheric. But holy cow! Nobody playtested this without the junior helpers. Take that. What's down here? Bubble! Okay. Maybe they're just putting out strategic uses of the bubble. I still don't agree with that, necessarily, but... Alright, whatever. At least I can kind of understand why they would do it. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah that's my birthday cake. Ah! Can you please tell me which way I'm gonna go when I enter the whirlpool? Because otherwise, it is completely up to luck whether or not you're gonna die when you come out the other end. Nope. Heck, even if you know which way you're going to come out, it's still not a guarantee, because the enemies are so unpredictable, minus the dogfish. I kind of want to just keep the junior helper on for the rest of the world, but probably uh, it might be the loser's way out. Okay, well, that's for making me suffer in that room. And the bubble wore out the instant I actually needed it. I'm sorry you didn't like my Koopa. Crab is doing. He's guarding the whirlpool again. And it's only by dumb luck that you're able to even get. Through. You guys know how much I dislike dumb luck. Or luck of any kind. Once again, gotta be careful that the crab isn't gonna be a jerk. And yes, I guess, suppose you could say this level's making me a bit crabby. Alright, now the, now the squid's gonna be a jerk. Squid is not moving off the stupid whirlpool. And now the blowfish is gonna be a <laughs> Not gonna turn on infinite lives yet. Not yet, but I'm getting close to that point. I forgot how stupid unfair the last one was. Of course, when I was a kid, I played with the junior helpers on, so... That might be why I liked it so much. Oh wait, that's the wrong door. Of course, there's now literally zero point in getting the bubble. Why couldn't I have gotten the bubble bath before getting the sea urchin? Like... Like, you basically need the bubble bath in order to get the bubble bath. Bad design. I suppose you know, I didn't need to get the purple sea urchin, but I basically did because of all the kelp seeds in that room. 
Uh, what's the world coming to these days? Back in my day, even though the game was exactly the same as it was now, we didn't have to put up with this kind of stuff. Am I enough of an old man now? And the stupid thing is, I knew I was tempting fate when I said the rest of the level should be much more fair. I knew I was tempting fate and gonna regret it. But I said it anyways. And you can't unsay things. I was ready to back out in case the bubble failed again. Alright. I at least distinctly remember the last two levels. I don't remember the next level all that much. Oh, wait, where am I missing a kelp seed? <laughs> oh, duh! I haven't even entered that room. I'm like, wait, but I thought I got everything! It's like, Artie, there's a whole room you haven't even been to. Oops. Oh, I, oh yeah, the room with the bubble. But the bubble doesn't last long enough for you to be, make use of it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Look at all those kelp things. Ah yes, this one is the one with a lot of rocks. As well as the cool gemstones. I'm really pumped for the next level though, because I remember the next level is perfectly fair. Also a lot of cool secrets on this level. <laughs> Oh, Worm Doodle Plus Bubble is a match made in heaven. Oh, this is also a level where you really need to conserve your purple sea urchins. Because you only have a few of them. I don't know if I want to use them in that room. Back to this main. Oh, I have to use one of them because there's no other way around it. Oh man! All right. So I guess I gotta use it here. Oh well, that's just not funny. That is though. I don't think I mentioned it, but I like the sound effect for the shells that you pick up as well. <laughs> yes, growl at the guy who's about to beat you up. That could clearly not backfire in any way. I want those shells. Yeah... The bubbles that force you in one direction are kind of annoying. If you use both your sea urchins in that, those gates, then you can't get the, sea, the starfish, which is gonna make you lose on, out on a lot of cool, good stuff. Also, this this might have the this might be the level with the most doors to different rooms because I feel like every room has three or four doors. You don't growl at me, young man. If only 
definitely always going after high score. Don't go after high score without getting infinite lives. Get back here. You are going to be dinner. You just are. The ag niggas. <laughs> in case you weren't already encased in a bubble, here's another one for your troubles. Believe me, you've given me a lot of troubles. Alright. At this point, I feel safe turning those off. At least for this level. This is a fun one. Time to get all those coke seeds! Oh, Alright, what I'm really looking forward to is the room above me at the start here. That room above me. It has a ton of bonus stuff. In order to get through it, you need to kick this pebble, not pebble, you need to kick this boulder through the gate when it's open to get, the, get rid of those, uh, bleh, fish bones. First thing we want to do is go into this room. And this is one of the few rooms where I'm like, it's actually a puzzle. It is actually a legitimate puzzle to get through this room, which is really cool. So what we want to do is we need to start by going this way. Lure the shark back here into this cycle so we can lose him. Hey, dude. Cool. We lost him. What we need to do is swim up here and crush that. And then we're going to crush that. Push this boulder, then this boulder. Crush that. Push that boulder. Destroy this. Push that boulder. Destroy this. Push that. Throw this down. That destroys those, and now we can push this final boulder out of our way to get our C star. That is a really cool room. <laughs> Thankfully, I have bubble bath, so I still have bubbles. Alright, we're gonna go this way. This is kind of a cool looking room. Oh, forget it, dogfish. You're not winning this round. Yes! <laughs> he was an idiot and fell for the bait. Alright. If you've got bubble bath, you can get that pearl bag. If you don't have bubble bath, well, you're screwed. You're, there's literally no way to get it. Just make sure you use more bubble bath. And this is why we needed to get the sea star before coming here. And now, thankfully, the dogfish is stuck in a stupid loop. He's easy to get stuck in a stupid loop, but if he's not in the stupid loop, he is incredibly dangerous. Alright, so we're going to enter this room, and we're going to be right in front of the boulder. We need to be careful not to push it unless until the gate is open. Right. Free stuff! Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. It's such an important day that I get two new cakes. Right. That is not moving. There's so much randomly spawning stuff here. We're gonna leave and come back, and there will be even more stuff. Three birthday cakes. Another present and some cotton candy. Nice. <laughs> Woohoo! One of the most fun rooms in the entire game. Eventually stuff does stop spawning. Lasted long enough, though. Yeah, there's just still, there's still more stuff. So much stuff spawns in that room. Alright, I think that's it, though.
Now we just have to get the last two kelp seeds in this room, and we'll be good to take on the last level. Which is one doozy of a level. Oh! Well, thank you! I was able to save a bubble for my bubble bath. Alright. I'm not gonna try any of the junior helpers. I'm really gonna try to do the last level without the junior helpers. Look at all those kelp seeds! So this first room is pretty slow. You basically have to pick up all the keys, open all the corresponding doors, and watch out for the bluefish. Thankfully, they're just bullfish and they're very slow, so this is definitely the tamest room in the game. Er, in, in the level, not in the game. And sometimes they like to corner you. I really don't want to use any more bubble bath than I have to in this world. Or in this room, at least, because bubble bath is going to be very precious in the next few rooms. Hi! Thank you for being so stupid, Blowfish. Alright, we're gonna leave a kelp seed here. Because this is a one level you do want to leave kelp seeds behind on. Alright. This is more gates and a lot of crabs. Go back to Red Lobster, please. Alright, I'm gonna do that and leave. And hopefully that'll get a more favorable pattern for the crabs. It's not a more favorable pattern. Thankfully, because they're slow moving down, I was able to actually hit them with the bubble. Alright, I'm gonna try to get this crab trapped in the... Nope, never mind. Well, that was a waste. I do have seven lives, so I'm not too worried about that. Get in this cycle so I can give it- Wow, that crab was phenomenally stupid! And by that I mean actually intelligent in avoiding my trap. This Wow, the cra- I'm not- I'm not joking, the crabs are by far the most intelligent enemies in the game, like... They are in a completely different league than the others, alright. Like, they're almost impossible to trap. They can turn around and do whatever they want whenever they want. And what they want to do is usually trap you and uh, eat your sandwiches. I made that sandwich for me, not you. I don't want to give him a sandwich. Nope. Oh, no. Uh, there is nobody down this corridor, so no need to swim down there. Hey, dude. Hi. How about a nice, tasty worm on a stick? Oh, not you. Yeah, as you can see, the crabs just... This might be the worst room in the level. Here we got some sharks, but nothing too bad. However, we do want to... We do want to get through this room very carefully. Because of all these gates, we want to make sure we get the right stuff. So, purple sea urchin. We're going to open that gate first off. So that'll just give us another purple sea urchin, but also a bag of pearls. Alright, now if we get the sand dollar, we can get another purple sea urchin. Which will give us that. So there are two gates we can open. One gives us a sand dollar, which that will lead us to a... Yep. Yeah. Nobody down here. Alright, I'm trying to figure out what's the next smartest place to- oh, there's two different ways. Both of them lead to a star. One gives me a spiral shell, which leads to the exit. I don't want that just yet. I want to explore the whole level, dang it. Well, as much the level as I can. <laughs> Dang, that current, though. Alright, I'm gonna ride the current up this time. There are two places I wasn't able to explore, but that's alright. So this room is just all about the gates. basically the backtrack room, where all we have to do is just keep getting the, these, getting the new things, and then 
Backtracking. Here's what I'm wondering. Could I potentially just screw myself if I... So, for example, if I take this purple sea urchin here and bring it back to the next room, I could get a sea star and then use that to get a spiral shell. And then I'd just be out of luck. Okay, so don't be an idiot and screw yourself out of it. Getting to the end. No, my baby! Precious! I needed that bubble. I'm gonna have to do it the old fashioned way with bubble bath now. Okay, I must say, this is a bad room. This is just artificial length. Back. Okay, if. No! Oh no! My bubble bath! I ran out! No, and now the squids are being extra, ultra, uber annoying. Oh, he's out of bubble bath. Let's be jerks. Alright. Yes, what a life indeed. Likewise, we could also go back and screw us out of everything again. If we get the spiral shell on the previous room. I'm not gonna do it, but I could if I wanted to. Oh no. Okay, if the squid goes up in that corridor and corners you, big trouble. And as I said before, this... I did not realize there was a bonus level on the final level for a very long time. Like, only in my last playthrough of this did I actually realize that. I'm like, wait, what? There's a bonus? Come on, stop being annoying. Fine, I'll just take the death. Alright, final room at last. Oh, wait, okay. So here's a room we gotta do carefully. You can't just go opening kelp or sea urchin gates willy nilly. Wait. Okay. I was supposed to be. Wait, how is this possible? We've got this bubble kind of dispenser down here. Out of my face. As you can see, there's a crack in the wall right there. I'm high! Dog on you! I'm trying to think about where I want to put my stuff. I also don't remember where the scepter spawns in the room, so there's that. Alright. It's a cycle. I can avoid you. I can't avoid you both, though. Kitty, kitty, kitty. That's not a good kitty. It's about dang time. Alright. Gonna search everywhere. Well, gee, I'll get another sea star by going from here, so... Alright, at least I have three purple sea urchins. Hi! Oh, that's right, I don't have bubble bath. I'm instinctively pushing the control key just to bubble bath it up. Out of my face, get out of my face, I don't like you at all. There, at last. Get out of my face! No! Why? That keeps making me miss. Alright. Well, this could be bad if I grab the scepter and then the dog murders me. You can't follow me in here! Oh, thank you. Thank you for the worm dude. This is the last bonus room of the game we're doing it in. Style! There are not many critters here to get. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Oh, this is fun. This is cathartic. I did not need the junior helmet for that level. Of course, we're not out of the woods yet. Because I still have no bubble bath, and I still have to go back to the very first room in order to get the last kelp seed. But after that, we will have beaten Maze Madness. I did not remember this game being that difficult. To be fair, it didn't get super hard until the final world. Like, the Coral Reef was pretty tough, the, the Seaweed Jungle was tough at times, and then the Pirate Ship caused me to have my first game over. But besides that, it was reasonably fair. Oh, Sand Cavern, I guess, also had his problems. I also just have this Sea Star that's sitting around doing nothing. I could swap it for a Spiral Shell if I wanted. Okay. Give you the slip. Hopefully I can do- oh, dog, gone it. Wow, I can't believe I successfully gave two dogfish the slip in these tight corridors. Hey, 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 don't do that, Freddy. That's not a nice thing to do. You are almost gonna kill me. One last kelp. See, he heed. Hi. All right, this is the room I'm worried about because this is the room that I really, really want bubble bath for, and I really, really don't have it. Okay, just two crabs left to deal with. If I can just lure you in the cycle, and you're just coming up. All right. That's what I was afraid of. The crab's cornering you. And then one of them probably going back to the first room. Alright. Get over here, you guys. If I could get two crabs to get over here. Without dying! Invincibility frames. Okay, well apparently they don't last that long. Well great. I'm I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in this room. I'm gonna have a game over in this room. Because the game is stingy on bubble bath, and the crabs are super freaking annoying. I, I the crabs are more annoying than the dogfish are. Oh yes, they're all going they're all congregating to that one room. This is my chance. As long as I don't die to a stupid death to a blowfish in this first room. Okay, no, I'm not. Good. Yeah! I should not be this happy to be done with that game, but holy cow. Can you say difficulty, Spike? Oh, right. It's warm, doodle time. Yeah, right, Loafer. Loafer, <laughs> don't do that again. <laughs> Or if so, just make the game like the first half of the game. It was very nice. Rhett, thank you, Rhett and Chris, for everything you did. This is a fun game, and I know I was complaining a lot in that last one. And I'd like to say for justifiable reasons, but... I don't know. I'm sorry if that ruined it for some people. But I'll just say, for this game, don't feel bad about using the junior helpers. They help you have more fun. And, as always not the end of the let's play. No, we've beaten the game, but we still have to do customization. We got the custom levels. So that's what we'll be doing in the next episode of Freddy Vision Louvers Maze Madness. Thanks for watching, everybody. If any of the developers watch this let's play, thank you. Thank you very much. You did make a very fun game, even though playtesting could have been done better. But thank you, Maze Madness, for existing. You are very fun. <laughs> nice Roman numerals. Uh, I was serious about those worm doodles, Freddy. After lunch, Luther. Aww. Okay, but just this one. Thank you, Freddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They couldn't animate that. It was too much work. Anyhow. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time when we make and play some custom levels. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.